What kind of photos should you have in your media kit? That's coming up next on JT and 3. Hi, it's Josh Turner at JT Public Relations. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to talk about photos and what kind of photos should you have in your media kit. So a media kit is something that you give to the media, typically has information about your company, a fact sheet, uh, a bio of your spokesperson or your president or CEO, and it should also have some really great photos. So the standard kind of thing that you'd have in a media kit is a head and shoulder shot, kind of what you're seeing of me right now and a shot of your products. Now, those are all fine to have in the media kit for photos, but I think it's really important that you have fun when you're doing the photo shoot so that you can get some photos that are interesting and compelling and a little bit different. A really easy way to come up with a compelling photo is just to stand with your product, sit with your product, maybe hold it in your hands and look at the product. Uh, that will provide a photo that is interesting and different and a little bit, you know, something compelling and a little bit different than what people are used to seeing. So I'll give you some examples right here. Here is a photo of Elon Musk, he of the company SpaceX and Tesla Motors. And it's a head and shoulder shot, looks fine, he looks good in it. And compare that to this photo where he is sitting in the Tesla car and looking at the camera. It's a more interesting shot in my mind. Or this shot where he's standing in front of the Dragon spacecraft. Now the thing is that not only are these photos more interesting than just the standard head and shoulder shot, but the connection can be made between Elon Musk and his brands. The SpaceX brand when he's standing in front of the spacecraft and the Tesla brand when he is sitting in the car. And visuals are very powerful when you have the product and yourself as the, the founder or, or the president of the company or the leader of the company, then that connection between the product and yourself or the brand is made that much more powerful. So when you're doing a photo shoot for uh, photos for a media kit, definitely do the head and shoulder shot, do the standard shots of your product and do something a bit different, have some fun, stand with your product, hold your product, uh, if your product is, or if your offering is a service, then what you could do is stand beside the logo of your company. That's something that could work well. And last thing, don't forget to smile. I think smiling is really powerful. When I see a picture of someone smiling, I want to know them. I feel more drawn to them. So I advise to smile for photographs. I mean, you can just do the standard sort of shot, but I think it's much more compelling when you smile. So that's all the time that I have for today. There is lots more at jtpublicrelations.com. Until the next time, I am Josh Turner. Thank you very much for watching.